You know, they call it Music City, Maryland, but tonight it's just a little less so. That's right. The popular Bill's Music House in Catonsville is down one guitar more worth more than a two grand, and there's a camera footage of somebody taking it. WMER 2 News' Jack Watson spoke with the store's owners tonight. Jack, a pretty brazen theft here. Well, Kelly, it was Neil Young who told us to keep on rocking in the free world, but that doesn't mean rock is free. This weekend, someone in Catonsville didn't get the memo, and the boss over at Bill's Music House is calling it a gut punch. A high-volume Saturday afternoon, among the week's busiest days at Bill's Music House. This person walks in, does a lap around the store, then he snares a $2,200 Gibson Les Paul. And then a couple people, as he got close to the door, kind of screamed at him, hey, where are you going? Or, hey, you can't do that. And, and at that point, he kind of just took off right outside the front door. He had a getaway car ready for him, so there was somebody with a revved up car ready to go. On Frederick Avenue in Catonsville, Bill's is a family business. It's been here since 1965. You might remember the store from our coverage after founder Bill Higgins died last month. Brian is Bill's son. Two of his sisters and a brother-in-law work here. It's a gut punch, you know, it's the worst when somebody comes in and does that to you. And yeah, it's an expensive guitar and we're sad about that, but just, just watch somebody be as brazen as this fellow was to walk in right in front of us and just grab a guitar to do that. It, it hurts, you know, it feels bad and you just want to hopefully get this fellow as fast as you can. The guitar looks something like this. If it's already at a local pawn shop, Higgins is hoping it took down the guitar serial number in case the person trying to take the money and run. The folks at Bill's called Baltimore County Police right when it happened. Does it hurt us financially? Sure, it does a little bit, but really that's a small drop in, in the pond a little bit. Um, it's more about just trying to stay alert. A sign at the store says bad credit, no credit, no problem. Like they have for years, they want to get music in the hands of people who want it. Down one of those instruments, the folks at Bill's hope the guitar gets back to where it once belonged. Baltimore County Police say they are investigating this. No word on any suspects in custody. Higgins tells me the police have all the security footage, Kelly.